Hello, in the last video we have seen how to create a client and the server and communicate between them using uh, Java sockets. In this video we are going to do the same thing but uh, in a much simpler approach. Um, in front of me here I have a client class and a server class. Let's get started by setting up the server class. So let's have a private server socket server and we are going to need a private data input stream private static final integer port private static final string um, stop string I'll explain this uh, later, but for now let's create a constructor. So for the constructor it's going to initialize the server, server socket using that port, and then we are going to init connections. This will allow the clients to connect to the server. So let's create this method. Basically this method would just get the client sockets socket equals to server dot accept and once we have accepted the socket we need to initialize the input stream equals to new data input stream and then new buffered input stream and here client socket dot get input stream once we have that set we can read messages read messages this method is going to read from the input stream so let's start with line equals to this while the line is should not be equals to the stop strings so basically the stop strings here are used to specify that the client has finished the communication with the server so whenever the client is has sent all the messages they want to stop connecting to the server to let uh, maybe to disconnect or even to maybe shut down the server this is what we are going to do here um, the server should know that the client wants to disconnect so that's why we have used the stop strings once we have this we are going to read the line so line equals to in dot read utf and then we're gonna print that out line okay so once we have read all the messages and the clients have sent the uh, stop string we can just disconnect everything so here go into close and for the close method we are going to close the input stream and close the server it's gonna put all that between the try catch Alright, um gonna give this signature and we can just do this since we have a signature already here. Alright, so um hmm. so that's looks good for the server. Let's go to the client for now for the client is going to be kind of uh, the same logic so let's create a socket private socket socket and private let's start with that first so public client for the constructor same thing 
constructor we're going to initialize the socket so equals a new socket for the host I'm going to put 127.0.0.1 and for the port I'm going to use the server port so server.port um, hmm. I'm just going to put that into public and then I'm going to add the cache clause after that we can initialize an output um, a data output stream that we can create here so private data output stream out we can initialize it here out equals the new data output stream socket dot get output stream and to read the uh, messages from the client we're just going to use the scanner so private scanner in and here we are going to initialize it as well in here so equals a new scanner and we can just use system.n alright let's collapse two blocks remove that and uh, now we can initialize the write messages method that would loop through the user inputs same as the server so string line equals that while line dot equals server dot stop string let's do the same thing here So inside this loop line here we're just going to send it to the server so out dot write UTF and we're gonna write the line then mm, but before writing the line we need to read it so line equals to in dot next line then we're going to write it to the server and we're good to go and add this one here so we're reading the line from the uh, user input and then we're writing it to the server once we have all that we can close the connection um, same way, socket close, output close, and in dot close. Here, signature, and that looks good. So for now, let's create a main method to test everything now. New client for the server main new server and let's run that start with the server I'm waiting for the project to build I'm gonna run the client Okay, so then it try to send a first message. Hello server. Test in one. You can see that every line that I write here it gets sent to that. Um, test two. So this is the client and this is the server. Let's do the stop string. Okay, so the client is finished survey is finished too. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or remarks, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one.